New at 5.30, the Ridgecrest earthquake shook Californians both physically and metaphorically. After about two decades with no major quakes, it's a wake-up call that we need to be prepared. Here in Kern County, there's another fault even closer to Bakersfield that has recently begun to move. Scientists believe it was triggered by the Ridgecrest earthquakes. 17's Manny Jansen reports tonight from the fault zone. We're about 77 miles from Bakersfield, right on top of a step over on the Garlock Fault Zone. It makes up the northern edge of the Mojave Desert. And recently, for the first time since scientists have been gathering data on it, it's begun to move. So this line right here is a fault. There's one further in the distance. The Garlock Fault is that border between the Sierras and the Mojave and all these different regions. So it's a really interesting fault, and I don't know that we fully understand what's going on with it yet. Geologist and seismologist Emily Fisher took us on a tour of the Garlock Fault Zone. It stretches 160 miles, running parallel to the much smaller White Wolf Fault that caused the 1952 earthquakes. The Garlock borders communities like Mojave, Tehachapi, and Fraser Park, and dead ends into the San Andreas. Where we are, where it steps over, is where we've seen a handful of earthquakes that have happened since Bridgecrest last year. Those quakes have been small, nothing bigger than a 3.2. They're significant for one reason. We haven't seen gar motion on the Garlock Fault in human history, but I will say that human history, and since we've been recording seismically, is not that long for a fault. Fisher says the last large quake along the Garlock was probably several hundred years ago, but that doesn't necessarily mean something big is coming in our lifetime. It's accurate to say, yeah, it might be past due, but then it could wait for 300 years. Scientists say the Garlock is capable of producing a magnitude 8.0 Tembler. But Fisher says that's a worst case scenario. It sounds really scary and it is possible, uh, but it's unlikely, it's improbable. A lot of those calculations, you can go through and do this calculation and you say, oh, if the fault's this long, and if the whole thing ruptured at the same time, it could be this big. Usually they don't rupture along the whole length of them. Um, usually they're not the big one. You're more, much more likely to have smaller earthquakes along the way. If the Garlock ruptured in a sizable quake, the communities that could be most affected would be Mojave, Johannesburg, Tehachapi, and Fraser Park. They lie right along the fault zone. Bakersfield would certainly feel the shaking, and the Isabella Dam could also be of concern. And after Ridgecrest, that's the first thing that our, our uh, local government was doing, was checking on the integrity of the dam, um, because it's, if it bursts, um, that would move a whole lot of water through the valley. So what does all of this really mean? Well, as Fisher says, it's hard to say, except the main takeaway is we know the fault is here, and it has the potential of producing a sizable earthquake. So so we should all be prepared. From the Garlock Fault Zone, I'm Maddie Jansen, 17 News.